know the sky. Cry, yeah, yeah. We got the tears roll down the street. Oh, the sky is crying. Run down the street. Oh, I'm looking for my baby. The one that where can it be? Yeah. Oh, my baby As he was walking On down the street Saw my baby As he was walking down the street, oh, hurt my poor heart so bad. Made my poor old heart skip a beat, oh. Thank you.
some noise as we welcome back to the stage S-T-O-N-E-D Since my man and I ain't together Stormy weather since my man and I ain't together Keeps a raining, just keeps raining all the time When he went away, old blues came in and met me If he's gonna stay, old rock and 
This one's called It Won't Be Love.
जाएगी still do let me tell you when your neighbor get her you don't leave too much of you let me tell you I found out oh baby I found out let me hear you well listen to me now I found out Oh baby, I found out Can I hear you now? Just listen to me now
Ladies and gentlemen, the James Montgomery Blues Band.
Ladies and gentlemen, how, how did you like the film? Did you like that film? We're so thankful to have Bester Cram in the house tonight. Joel Sainz is the guy that holds it all together. It was a labor of love for us. We started over 10 years ago to make this film. And I will say, I had the great opportunity to meet James Cotton when I was 16 years old in Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan. I was a little kid, target Mr. Cotton. Mr. Cotton, can you show me how to hit those high notes? He would be this close to getting a hotel room key from a very beautiful woman. Be, what the, get, 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 come on, man, can't you see what I'm doing here? You know. Years and years later, we became uh, very close friends. Uh, many times I played with him, and uh, many times he was my guest. Many times he came to New England and used us as his backup band. We, came, we became very close, close enough that the end, and toward the end of his life, the last 10 years that I knew him, and I don't know if you got the feeling from the movie, but I hope you did, one of the most loving people I've ever met in my entire life. He was a, he loved everybody he met. We became very close toward the end of his life. He called me son, and I called him dad. And you saw Jacqueline in the film. Sometimes I would call Austin, Texas. Incidentally, the scenes, he's buried at the Texas National Cemetery, which takes a panel of 12 people to agree that you deserve, in the words of Cotton and Muddy Waters, that you deserve to be buried there. So a big honor for James to be interred in, in that wonderful cemetery. He called me son, I called him dad. I would call and Jacqueline would go, hey, wait a minute, your father wants to say something. And she'd hand the phone to James. So anyway, this is the first song that I ever learned from James Cotton. When I had my high school band, when I was 16 years old, and had been playing the harmonica for about a year, this is the first song I ever played with my high school band, and I learned it directly from James Cotton. It goes like this. They call me Good Time Charlie, yeah. Hey, boy, with a whole lot of soul, yeah. Good Time Charlie, yeah. I'm a playboy with a whole lot of soul. Full of dough, yeah. Put on that little black dress, baby. Cause you're going out with me. Oh yeah. Put on that teeny little black dress, baby. You're going out with me. Oh yes, you are, you know. The sky's the limit, baby.
playboy with a lot of soul, yeah, you know. The last of the big time spenders. I got a pocket full of dough. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. So thank you very much, and uh, we want to thank everyone at the Fallout Shelter. Uh, <laughs> turns out, you know, I, I said to the guy, I said, hey, Bill, you know, you've probably been only been open for just a brief period of time because I haven't been booked here yet. <laughs> he said, well, let me see. I think we've been open for seven years, I think he said it was. Oh, come on, I didn't mean it like that, for God's sakes. Anyway, how about a nice round of applause for the people at the fallout shelter? This place is great. My living room looked an awful like this in 1978. It's amazing. I think I'm back in time here. I... So anyway, um, I'd like, we'll do another. You know, most of us on stage tonight, well, all of us, you know, knew James Cotton. Uh, we're privileged and proud and honored to be here uh, to honor, probably in my mind, the greatest blues harmonica player who's ever lived. When you consider that he could play just like Sonny Boy, just like Walter, and also had his own spin on it, and as you saw from the movie, um, one of the most powerful front men if, if you never saw James Cotton in person, uh, you, you have no idea about the power that this guy generated. He, he just like pin you to the back of your seat. Um, love the guy, love the fallout shelter for doing this. Um, you know, I want to tell a brief story. Uh, at one time I was selling like 5,000 tickets at night in New England. And uh, so they put a bill together. It was a James Montgomery band. James Cotton band. So I made the, 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 the fatal mistake, even though I'd seen Cotton play since I was 15 years old, but I made the mistake of watching his whole show before I had to go on. <laughs> so I got up there, we did a great show. My band was great. I had Peter Malik, Peter Bell, Billy Mather, Chuck Puro, David Case. It was a great band. 
but, but somehow or another, at the end of the show, I said, you know, James, it's a great tour we got going here. You know, this is going to be great. You know, we got another 10 dates coming up in the tour. It, by the way, they made another mistake of giving us a, a, a motel in, in a, a one-story motel where every single room was occupied by a member of either my band or Cotton's band or road crew, and the management had a sign, management has left for the evening. <laughs> We're going, wait a minute. There ain't no management here? <laughs> I'll tell you, man, that was one of the most fun nights I've ever had at a motel. <laughs> but anyway, at the end of that show, I said, you know, James, I've been thinking this over. It's a great bill. James Montgomery Band, James got, we'll keep it that way in the advertising, but from now on, I want to volunteer to go on first. <laughs> the only time I've ever done that in my life. We got a slow blues song going out to James Cotton. My, my, my dad. Going out to you, James. A little slow blues goes like this here. I got a mind to give up living And people go shopping instead Ow! I got a mind to give up living And go shopping instead Pick me out a tombstone and go and die, die in bed. When I read your letter this morning, there was on your place in bed, child, you know. This morning, baby, there was on your place in bed, child. Yes, it was, you know. That's when I decided I'd be better off, better off there.
What's up? James Cotton.
you doing tonight? Come on, how are you doing? Once again, we appreciate immensely supporting this film. Every artist up here on stage tonight is a personal friend, uh, influenced greatly by James Cotton. We'd like to bring up right now one of my favorite harmonica players in the whole United States of America and therefore the world. This girl has unbelievable tone. She teaches harmonica at a camp down in Clarksdale, Mississippi, the home of the blues, the home of the blues. I've known her for many, many years. She's one of my favorite harmonica players. I made sure that she was in the James Cotton movie and I made sure that she's down here tonight. Let's welcome, and you won't believe this girl, man. She can really play. So give it up for the amazing Cheryl Arena, ladies and gentlemen, Cheryl Arena. Give it up, come on, come on, come on. like sleeping I just feel like lying down come on lay it down for me George one time
George McKinn on the guitar. So the reason I chose this song to play is because it's a song by Sonny Boy Williamson, too, Rice Miller. And he used to have a radio show on the King Biscuit Hour in Helena, Arkansas. And James could hear the show from Tunica, Mississippi, where he was growing up. So he left home and went to Helena to seek out Sonny Boy for, to be his mentor. And, um, so I kind of have a similar close story to that. I heard James Cotton on the radio when I was about 15 years old. And the next day, I went out to Sandy's Music Store in Cambridge and bought myself a harmonica. And he inspired me to play, so. And, um, and mentored me slightly. I met him very, several times and played with him several times at the Ho House of Blues and Night Stage and, um, and, and on some gigs that James had. So anyway. James was, was a real, uh, real big influence on me, and I just had to tell you that little story. You gotta help me, baby. Cause I can't do it by myself. You gotta help me. I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it by myself. Oh, baby, you gotta help me. Cause I can't do it by myself. Oh, yeah, you gotta help me, darling. Cause I can't do it by myself. Oh, if you don't help me, pretty baby. I'm gonna find me somebody else. you're helping me. So this next song is a song that, uh, that James used to do a lot, either for an opener or the closer of his night, and it's called Hucklebuck.
Did I not warn you that you're going to see one of the greatest harmonica players in the country, from New England, by the way, the amazing Cheryl Arena, who actually, actually runs a harmonica workshop down in Clarksdale, Mississippi, the home of the blues. She's down there every year. She's one of the best. Give it up for Cheryl Arena, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna keep Cheryl up here for a minute. It's now my great pleasure, and I do a certain amount of work with this young lady every year. And every time we get to play together, I go home, I fall down on my knees, and I thank the Lord that I'm able to share a bill with this young lady who's been the singer on Saturday Night Live for over 20 years. Also has sung with Bruce Springsteen. Has sung with all the best people in the business in the house tonight. You'll recognize her from the movie. Also, the Grand Marshal at the Muscle Shoals Parade. It doesn't get any bigger than that. Let's bring her up right now from Saturday Night Live. How about a nice fallout shelter welcome from New York City, from the James Cotton film, the Beehive Queen. Give it up. Christy Norman! Woo! Yeah! That's what I say. Are you having a good time? You know, every single person on this stage was in the movie that you just saw, and it means so much to us that Bill Hurley has had us here tonight to tribute the great James Cotton with this film. Fester, thank you so much. My absolute delight to be with the great Curtis Salgado in the movie. I want to send this out to Jacqueline and James and their wonderful romance all those years. All those years on. Let me hear it for love, everybody. Yeah. Never know how much I love you. Never know how much I care When you put your arms around me I get a fever that's so hard to bear You give me fever Yeah. When you kiss me Fever when you hold me tight Fever In the morning Fever all through the night let me say, sun lights up the daytime, the moon lights up the night, and my eyes light up when you call my name, I know you're gonna treat me right, you give me fever, come on, when you kiss me, fever when you hold me tight. In the morning, fever all through the night. Cheryl, come on, baby. Come on, girl. Woo! Cheryl, read everybody. was a, a student of the blues along with everything else coming before him in the Muddy Waters band 
was Little Walter. When they made this record, he had a thing going on with Matt Guitar Murphy. Matt Guitar Murphy is no stranger to New England. He's no stranger to this whole scene. How many of you people love him? So he's on this track, and they decided to mash up a little Walter tune called Nobody But You. I'm gonna get you to sing with us now, because you've done a lot of things tonight, but you haven't sung. Come on with me, it goes something like this. Come on. Let me say right now, start the ball rolling. Till it hit my heart, it knows where I wanna be. And then we say, nobody but you, babe. Nobody but you, babe. Nobody but you, babe. You're my sugar, cause you sure is sweet. George McCann, step up, baby. Woo! Things you 
I'm here tonight in the cause of the blues. For all of you here to be with us tonight, let's put our hands together one more time. It just means so much to us. We want you to know. And thank you deeply, deeply for your support of this great film.
We got to do this one. We got to do this one. We do. We have to do this one. You know, uh, the first night I met James Cotton, he played this song. Probably the first night. You saw it, it probably, it probably the first night. Every one of us saw James Cotton. He played this song, uh, Muddy Water song, which you saw in the video. Uh, it's a, a requisite. I think that's a word. Christine and I exchange words frequently. That you join in on us with this one. And uh, probably the most classic blues backbeat shuffle in the history of the universe. <laughs> oh no, there was that planet and, and anyway. So, George, you wanna start this one out or? Here we go. Get <laughs> On you. Got my mojo working, but it just don't work on you. I will love you so bad, child. Don't know what to do.
wonderful James Cotton fans throughout the world. This is going out to James Cotton and Jacqueline. Thank you. Let's take a bow. James Montgomery. Give it up for James Montgomery. Give it up for Bill Hurley for making this place happen. We love you, Bill. This is a wonderful thing.